The market cap has been over $3 trillion since June, but it's about to post results for what is typically its slowest three months of the year. The street expecting a little under $82 billion in revenue for the quarter, a 2.3% year-over-year decline. Is it just a fluke, or will top-line growth remain challenging? Joining me now to discuss is Martin Yang, who covers tech at Oppenheimer and has an outperform on the stock, and our very own Steve Kovac. Welcome to you both. Steve, you're there. Uh, you know, got to be there to get the results. And I guess my question would be um, a little bit about this, this revenue decline. Just kind of broadly give us what people are expecting. Yeah, sure, Kelly. So this is going to be most likely the third quarter in a row, as Apple has guided and estimates are out there saying, of revenue declines. And that's just because of a lot of macro headwinds Apple has been facing, like so much of the other consumer electronics uh, companies, uh, demand falling in the U.S. and China. There's two important markets. And we do hear this growth story coming out of emerging markets like India or Indonesia, but clearly not enough to uh, make up for the lack of sales in those other bigger markets. So what I, you should really pay attention to, though, Kelly, is the outlook, because the question going into the, today's earnings is whether or not Apple can return to that growth after those three down quarters. Uh, so any kind of bullish commentary we hear out of Tim Cook and his executives on what they're seeing, any green shoots in the U.S. economy after we've gotten so many uh, positive data points in recent months. And then also on the China side, which is kind of the opposite story, right? We've seen uh, so much negative economic data points coming out of there and how that all shakes out. And again, of course, uh, in September, we're expecting new iPhones. So they'll get a couple uh, weeks of new iPhone sales at the end of the current quarter, Kelly. Martin, what do you think is the key driver for the stock here? Yeah, the key driver for the stock is, um, for this year, is no longer going to be the hardware sales. I think it's widely accepted that a Mac uh, and iPad will be challenged due to pull forward demand coming out of the COVID. And iPhone itself is not a key, is not going to see as strong a product cycle as it has seen in the past two years. Uh, we're expecting Apple to make comments, management to make comments regarding implementation of large language models on its devices, and that can maybe spark a renewed interest in new growth drivers for hardware in the coming years beyond this fiscal year. So where, when do you think they're going to return to top-line growth, and does it matter? Uh, return to top-line growth doesn't matter in the near term, but does matter in the longer term. When you look at Apple in an annual basis, it can reliably raise iPhone prices uh, double-digit um, very consistently, and uh, coming out of this law and during the COVID, uh, demand pull forward, Mac and uh, iPad will continue on its market share gain story. I think it matters uh, beyond the six month period, and in the next maybe three to six months, uh, doesn't matter as much. Yeah, quick last word to you, Steve. What else will you be focused on? Yeah, services. So on the outlook, also, uh, Morgan Stanley expecting services to return to that double-digit growth. And any commentary from uh, Apple about uh, the install base, because that's the key for services for all those users, how they can charge them more for all the various services. And we've been seeing some resurgence here on the services side uh, from others uh, that reported last week, other tech names. Advertising seems to be coming back a little bit. That's important for the App Store. And even gaming coming back a little bit. Nintendo reported incredible results uh, earlier today. So if gaming is coming back, that's great news to the App Store and services, Kelly. All right. Thank you both. Steve Kovac, Martin Yang will hear from Apple and Amazon after the bell. It'll be a busy afternoon.